Hi, my name is Nicole McAndrew, and I'm currently Senior Director of Financial Products at Sunrun. I've worked in clean energy for about six and a half years, and I've worked more broadly in the energy space for about 10 years. I started my career in energy and consulting for oil and gas companies and electric utilities, and then I pivoted to residential solar where I've been for the last six and a half years. My favorite part about working in the clean energy industry is it's something I've been interested in and passionate about for as long as I can remember. Um, I'm learning new things every day. I'm stretching my mind every day. And I feel like I'm contributing to a solution to something that I feel is the greatest societal threat of our lifetimes, uh, which is climate change. So I find the work to be really interesting. I'm really passionate about it. And I feel super lucky and fortunate that I have that. In five to 10 years, I think in a lot of ways, residential solar will look a lot like it does today. And in a lot of ways, it will be different. Uh, fortunately, customers have shown that they want rooftop solar. There's strong customer demand for it. They want energy independence. So rooftop solar is here to stay. I do think we'll start to see a lot more states move towards this California, Hawaii setup with reduced or non-existent net metering regimes. Uh, net metering is of course really helpful for residential solar, but we've seen configurations that are really workable in the absence of net metering. Uh, and that would be solar paired with some sort of home energy solution, home energy storage solution. Um, I also think that we'll start moving from this kind of glass on roof, uh, just solar panels construct to really being a home energy provider. Uh, so allowing customers to electrify their home and then to power their home with solar produced from their roof and stored in a home battery. I think it's important to get female representation in all industries. So I definitely think it's super important to get female representation in clean energy. Women make up half the population. So if clean energy workers are disproportionately male, we're missing out on a lot of really strong, talented individuals if we're just looking at men and not having females in the industry as well.